let's talk about how Marvel Studios created their very own Kang the Conqueror problem by rushing things and focusing on one specific actor who they figured would carry the entire franchise on his back. Yes, we are talking about Jonathan Majors as Kang. So a lot of people, including us here at the CBC, when it was announced that we were doing the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars back to back, and remember, they were announced to be six months apart in the same year, we literally looked at it and said, what are they doing? You're rushing it too soon. This has to be reactionary. And what we've learned recently is that essentially everybody was correct. According to reports, the MCU was going to go in a different direction. And again, if we go all the way back to a couple of years ago, everybody remembers we were talking about a cosmic side and a more grounded Earth side of things. But according to brand new reports, once they saw what happened with Jonathan Majors as Kang in Loki, once they saw the early footage, they decided that this was their golden goose. And with good reactions to him and other projects, they wanted to lock him in right away. So Marvel Studios and Disney decided to hardcore pivot instead of focusing on building up all the new Avengers and tons of new franchises and doing an Avengers film way further down the road that they could essentially reshuffle everything and put the entire focus on Kang after Loki season one and also announce, look, he's also going to be in Ant-Man and the Kang Dynasty and all this because they wanted him to be the star of the entire multiverse saga and not the heroes like they were for the previous saga. So you can see how they created their own problem now. Because they put all their eggs in the Kang the Conqueror, Jonathan Majors basket. And lo and behold, it backfires on them because of all the legal trouble and everything he's been through. And now they're too committed. And they can't back out of everything that they announced and reshuffle everything. But also they're looking like they're trying to rush through everything and them hanging everything on him was handled in a rushed manner it is honestly a very interesting scenario for them to be in but it's nothing new uh this is nothing new we've had studios literally commit to something before well before they saw the fruits of labor that was currently there aka batman v superman and the entire snyderverse coming after it greenlit everything Snyder didn't work out, and then they had to scrap everything, we ended up, well, where we are now with, again, a reboot coming and complete reshuffles and a mess of projects all over the place that don't really acknowledge one another or connect to one another in a fragmented universe. And Marvel Studios is now in that same boat, just to a lesser degree, because they can pivot, but it could hurt them a whole lot. So we'll see what happens, but it's a crazy scenario.